Hello everyone and welcome to Lucas's Gym Challenge episode 23. This is um, the first um, video I'm doing using my new phones, phone stand so then my camera will actually stay still, guaranteed hopefully. And um, I thought what better way to do it than with a Pokemon battle. Um, so as I said, Lucas's Gym Challenge episode 23, his fourth attempt against the Psychic Types. Will I get to use my Metagross? Let's find out. Anyway, let's get into this battle. No hands this time. So, don't need to worry about the camera shaking. Woo! So I'm going to lead off with my Sigilith. Uh, whilst Luke's going to lead off with Volcarona. Um, so, uh, similar matchup to before, I believe so. Anyway, can't remember. <laughs> He's going to lead off a Bug Buzz, and I'm going to go with Air Slash. Um, one neutral effective, one super effective move. He uses Citrus Berry, that's going to heal up some of his health to get back into the yellow. And he's going to outspeed and go with Bug Buzz again, which will KO my Sigilith. That's okay though, the Sigilith was able to do quite a lot of damage and did just what I needed to send out my Starmie and finish it off with a scold. I'm going a bit too fast for this um, video for the battle to go, so I'll kind of hold back a bit. But the Volcarona goes down now, and Lucas then sends out his Gengar to battle in the Starmie. I go Psychic, of course, for Stab and Super Effective, and it Oko's the Gengar. Oko meaning one shot, so yeah. Got Gengar in the background of the video as well, in the dark, but there we are. If you can see it, uh, maybe I'll show you that in the future. He goes to Dragonite next, and because of his ability multi-scale, he's able to take an Ice Beam like a trooper. Because I do not have multi-scale, I get hit by Thunderbolt rather hard and get paralyzed due to poor luck on my end. And he's going to outspeed and go with another Thunderbolt, which will KO my style. I'm confident, however, if I didn't get paralyzed, I would have KO'd that Dragonite. I send out my Espeon next. And I go with Dazzling Gleam for super effective damage and to finish off the Dragonite. Next is Incineroar, um, the dark type of the, the dark type on his team. And it's Intimidate lowers my attack, which doesn't really help him because I'm special attacker. I go with Hyper Beam, of course, because that's the only move I actually have, which will do a loss of damage guaranteed. Whilst he goes to Darkest Lariat, which will one-shot my Espeon. I go into Gallade next, a Pokemon that would have been affected by the Intimidate, but luckily it didn't. And I finish it off with a quick little Drain Punch. Taking away his HP and gain, gaining none in return. Worth it. Next is Magmortar. And I'm going to go with Psycho Cut this time. And it does a fair amount of damage, not a lot. And um, Lucas goes with the Fire Type Z move, Inferno Overdrive. Which is going to do quite a fair amount of damage to my Gallade, if not one-shot it. I believe it does one-shot it though. This battle was filmed quite a while ago, so I don't really remember how it went. But, um... It was fun. The battle was fun. And I survived. That caught me off guard. I go Drain Punch, um, and just get some HP back, preparing for the next Pokemon to come out. Uh, most I can get anyway. Next is Blastoise. And that is his last Pokemon. Uh, he goes with the Mega Blastoise though, which um, gives Blastoise the ability Mega Launcher now, giving moves like Water Pulse and Dragon Pulse um, an extra boost. I go with Thunder Punch and uh, does around half health, which is quite good. He goes with Skull Bash to raise his defense a bit and also to completely obliterate me in the next turn 
I go Drain Punch because I know Thunder Punch wouldn't one shot and I just wanted to get as much health back to try and take the hit. So the Skull Bash hits me and it actually KOs me. So my Drain Punch was in vain but I was able to get it down to rather low health to where I sent out my Alakazam just to finish it off very quickly. Not even having to Mega Evolve, just to finish it off with an energy ball, and that's all the battle is. And that's the end of the battle. I'm actually really glad I have um, this camera stand, so then we don't have to worry about the shaky video footage. Um, it won't be full screen due to my previous copyright claims, but at least you get to see my beautiful um, minifigures of Pokemon uh, behind my DS, along with a little tub with some green in it on the back that is where i store the extra pieces of lego and um that's all for this time if you like what you saw leave a like leave a comment don't forget to subscribe press that notification bell down down below join me in the next battle video which will have lucas's sixth sixth attempt against the no sixth fifth fifth attempt against the psychic types and uh, that'll be battle number 24 until then peace out